How are you, everybody? Um, I don't normally do this. But, um, I came to the last meeting just to see what was going on, and I ended up speaking. And uh, anyway, I'm here. Number one, I, I run the only 100% biological agroforest farm in Ireland. So biological means I don't use any chemicals on the land, the animals, the direct seller, all our meat. And agroforestry means I do it through a uh, wood. So I've probably lost most of you at that already. But <laughs> um, I'm, everyone knows the problems. I won't get into them, like soil prices and the input prices and all that. And we've heard it all so far. I'm here with a solution, right? Um, the solution, uh, I direct sell everything through a website I do with um, direct to families to, um, what do you call it? Um, restaurants as well, um, all that kind of stuff. But we've minimum processed our meat. We don't use any, uh, we dry cure our pork. Um, well, let's start with what we actually do. We put pigs, cattle, hens, chickens, turkeys, bees, firewood, and I run courses, um, and I do tourism as well. So uh, there's way more incomes than just food on farming first, and that's one thing that most farmers don't realize, the value of what's under their feet, and where you can diversify without needing um, the system that's there currently, because as everyone agrees, it's broken. Um, so everyone agrees you have to design a new system the logistics of that to be efficient is what's going to make or break um, the new system. I'm currently doing the um, level nine masters in NUIG um, in agricultural innovation, and I'm actually designing a system. Basically, what I've done already, trying to scale it up uh, over the 32 counties. Um, so that's I need help with that. So help anyone? I can talk to me afterwards. <laughs> um, but on the other hand, on the meat itself, like the the reason I'm doing this, number one, was to feed my own family. I have five kids at home. Um, I started growing chemical-free vegetables, pigs, turkeys, all that stuff, 15 years ago. I bought the land in 2019. 2020, I started clearing it with the pigs, the cattle, and the hens, the poultry. Got a felon license. Um, tried to go organic, because I thought that was the right way to go. Um, couldn't, because I farmed through the trees. I, you can't have an organic forest. Um, at Pippa Hackett out, she, she actually buys meat off me up and down um, as well. Um, now we direct sell everything. We, um, that's the firewood, um, the honey, the whole lot. I have a queue for people looking for stuff from me, right? Um, even the awful meat, we tan the hides, we use every ounce of our energy, I, 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 of what we produce, we, we, we sell it. Like, people don't value, again, they don't see the value of what's when a cow or, cow or bull goes to factory, like, I have a queue for the awful meat, um, the feet, the, all, all that kind of stuff. It's all an income. Um, I don't process, um, we don't use any nitrates in our uh, pork. We freeze it, we dry cure everything as well. So it's actually a health food too. Do you know, like the, the nitrates is a carcinogen. It has to be put into the pork to increase the shelf life to, um, for the food miles, you know, to, to get, get it to the shops um, it, in reasonably good nick. But it does cause digestive problems. It does cause, like we do, all our sausages and burgers are gluten free as well. We don't use any um, nitrate, and any rusk or anything in, in that. I was told I couldn't make money at that. I people queuing up for the burgers and sausages because the taste of the meat, all our animals are growing slowly through the forest. We outwinter them all, uh, all year. It's tough work, but it actually works. Um, I save a fortune on, on wintering costs, but I might dig me feet through muck regular. Um, but it keeps me fit too, so it's there's pros and cons to, to it all. Short story, right? I do the farm walks every month. Um, out of that, um, people come down, all, um, sell 25 or 30 tickets each um, last Sunday of each month. They, in the middle of that, are vegans and vegetarians and some different people who want to come down to see how am I doing or you know, find out how they can pick holes of what I'm doing, right? But out of that, I've got several vegans who are actually buying my meat now because they had, they had three. Environmental problems was number one. Um, and like 
we sequester carbon, we sequester tons of carbon every year in our forest by the way we farm. Animal welfare was number two, they didn't agree with animals packed in sheds or being, um, so we, ours are out all the time and uh, over processed meat but full of nitrates and stuff like that, which I don't do. So now this didn't happen overnight either, but anyway, there is hope. So thank you. Man.